it's um, 2nd of uh, January, uh, 33 degree day. Um, he's just been let into his grass paddock. Um, and I just wanted to show everyone how much grass there is um, due to all the rain. I'm about 5 foot 3 and shrinking. Um, but the grass right in front of you is actually at my a uh, little bit, little bit shorter than my head height, so it's um, yeah, excessively long and green. Um, but he is doing, um, he's doing really, really well. Today will be a big test for him if he can um, remain flick free at uh, about 33 degrees. Um, he did have some the other day after he was ridden um, and we we worked him pretty hard and the next day his cortisol levels were just down um, a fraction but it was very it was very slight uh, and the instant EM, EMRT started working on him he just stopped and he just he hasn't flicked actually since uh, Friday at all so um, he'll be in here for probably about an hour uh, and then um, pull him out because it's just too much uh, grass in here so he just has to take this slowly um, and as per usual they won't eat the mature stuff he'll just go for the green but um, he's definitely handling the grass um, yeah, really well this year. I, I would say almost almost perfect. I don't think the grass is really affecting him at all now. Um, so it's just um, it's just a matter of just tidying things up now. Uh, and I think he's. Um, I would be quite confident, and I've probably said this a few times now. And we've had a few little um, setbacks. Not so much. Um, I wouldn't call them head shaking setbacks, although it did prompt that, but. I'd say just really just nailing um, what's wrong inside him um, and his um, yeah his guts were, were the major factor with him um, and they're just good to go now he's absolutely perfect.